Hello everyone, um, in the cage there is my first lemon moth that I got a couple of weeks ago. Um, I call him Crispy because of his wings that look like crispy bacon. You can't see it now, but you will see it uh, in a couple minutes. Um, but yeah, he came out deformed. His wings started to uh, come normally, that's why I call him Crispy Look Bacon. Um, anyway. He, his wings started pretty normally, but just stopped. And I didn't bother him or anything. That That's really weird. So I think he was just um, uh, deformed from birth or um, crippled. Um, right now, two of them hatched him that came out uh, deformed. And the female that came out even more deformed where her wings didn't even come. She had weak muscles, um, her, she was, her skin was really thin, it was like she was underdeveloped when she hatched, um, but yeah, it was really sad, and here he is, he's, he's very green, he has a very green moth, very beautiful, um, but yeah, he didn't end up reproducing, because he died, and then the female hatched, couple days later, like maybe a, a week later, um, but yeah, now she's dead as well, female lived hardly 24 hours, him right there, with his little wings, uh, lived about, I don't know, four days, but yeah, um, he's in my collection right now, he's a little like, um, the, the different of the collection, because they're all really like, Beautifully spread and all like fancy, and then there's him. <laughs> but I don't know if he had emotions, I don't know if he was suffering. I really hope he didn't because I mean, he was a Luna Moth, and people who have been watching my channel should know that I really love Luna Moths. Um, but yeah, it's really weird. I have one more cocoon left, it's not even moving. I didn't react. I tried to, um, n like, you know, like, move it a bit, see if it was live. No response. I think it's dead. I mean, I don't know if it's if it's too dry or too humid here. Uh, it's just really weird. It's not really fun, but yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, but yeah, hopefully the third one. You know they say a third one's the charm, but yeah, that's all. Oh, and also, here is the little moth in my collection. That's what he looks like. Um, yeah, that's crispy, a little dead in there. Left to the polyphemus moth, and mm -hmm. yeah. That's where he's sitting. I drew him. I drew what I wished he would look like before he hatched. And also a polyphemus moth. And for now, polyphemus and Actios Luna. I am learning my scientific words and I will make videos on them soon. But yeah. Um, that's a little bit of my collection. And I want to see if I can show you after. This is actually an older recording. A little older recording. Um, but yeah. <laughs> that, that I'm just pointing out the, the wings. Um... But yeah, that was the female before she hatched. She was moving a lot. We could see like the te the details in that video. Well, I could see the details while I was filming. Ah, uh, there we go. You can kind of see the wing there. Like barely see it. You barely see it. But yeah, she came out. She was all weird. She was so weird. It was really honestly disappointing. I was really disappointed. Um, yeah. Hopefully a third one's the charm. Um, yeah, I'm just showing you the details. Right there, you can see, like, the wing, the outline, the black outline. Um, she was very beautiful. She was weird when she came out. She was all mushy. I think next video um, that I'm going to make, I'm going to show you what she looks like right now. 
and she was suffering. She didn't even live a day. Oh, I remember that day. I was so hopeful that she would be all perfect. I don't know what I did wrong, actually. It's just weird. It's like it was my dream for about six years to have beautiful Luna Moss to, to live with me in there. Um, but yeah. It's really sad. I was so excited. Oh yeah, and of course there was the, the other one. That one's alive. That was a female. And yeah, that one's pretty weird. 